Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, I appreciate the uh, support of House Resolution 253. Mr. Speaker, uh, it's not every day that you get an opportunity to open the newspaper uh, and see good news on the front page, but a few weeks ago in Schuylkill County, um, we opened the newspaper to see that uh, Yingling Brewery was named uh, the top craft brewer in America. And I can tell you it's a, an outstanding award. Uh, we're very proud to have that manufacturing facility in the county, but it was a Pennsylvania award because of the list of 50 brewers, uh, Pennsylvania had uh, three additional brewers. Number one, Victory Brewery in Downingtown, uh, Trogues Brewery, very close to here in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and uh, Sam Adams Brewery, who has got a presence in the Lehigh Valley. They brew about 70% of their beer in the Lehigh Valley. Today, we have the opportunity to showcase Pennsylvania manufacturing. My colleague, a few sessions ago from Carlisle, introduced the Pennsylvania preferred um, designation because we understand and he understands that uh, Pennsylvanians support Pennsylvania products. And it's encouraging that Pennsylvania is supporting um, our brewers in Pennsylvania. There's about 170 of them right now. It is a major source of tourism. Out-of-state consumers also support our brewing industry. In a meeting uh, the other evening with Dave Casanelli, who is the COO of Yingling Brewery, he mentioned to me that Pennsylvania is becoming the Napa Valley of beer. And I think that uh, we should be going in that direction. We support them, out-of-state consumers report them, and this govern government needs to support brewers in Pennsylvania as well. We take a lot of time in this building talking about job creators, and I can tell you those 170 brewers in the Commonwealth are job creators. So today we recognize Yingling Brewery, a company that started as the Eagle Brewing Company in 1929. They are America's oldest brewery. They are America's longest continuing, continually operating brewery. They are the longest uninterrupted history of management by a single family in this sector. And they are now America's largest American-owned family brewery. Mr. Yingling joined us today for a policy committee hearing on job creation, and he would be quick to say that it's not him, it's his employees. But I can tell you that you can find Mr. Yingling in the plant at 5.30 every morning. He is a tireless worker. It is a true success story. So I congratulate the Yingling family and our consumers, and I thank them for keeping the manufacturing light on here in the Commonwealth. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.